Welcome to Funny Senate with Travis Nelson. And Vanessa Dunn. That's your host. That's us. Yeah, it's been a minute, but we're back. Yeah, you don't, I mean, they don't know. You're right. We're just keeping track. We're here with our good friend Jason Go. Hi, everyone. Jason Go, stand up comic, Seattle, Washington. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, Jason, what's your uh, your Twitter tag? Uh, my Twitter handle is at JJ Goad. Cool. That's going to be right here. All right. Uh, well, as is tradition on Funny Sad, we looked up a bunch of Jason's tweets, and uh, we're going to get into it. Let's get into it. You, you want to start, Vanessa? I'll start. You All right. Start. <clears throat> Man, there really is no sexy way to ask your girlfriend if she has a toilet plunger. <laughs> Well, yeah, there sure isn't. No, you boy. know, I feel like that's funny. Because, <laughs> like, because like, you like, what else are you gonna do with it? Yeah, you know? reminds me of that. Uh, the in Dumb and Dumber when he's <laughs> when he's, it's not working. Oh, after they give him the after they give him the uh, the lax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna rocket off that thing like a like a spaceship. It's just so, such a such a human experience to be over somewhere where you're so. So embarrassed to be judged, and then you realize the toilet can't suck him down. Yeah. That was that was a that was a very real incident. Oh, it happened. He was real with me when yeah. I read that tweet. I I, I smelled <laughs> it even. I, yeah, it, it, I felt every part of it. We, we, we've been, we had, we've been dating maybe two months. Oh no! At least it wasn't oh, a first that date. That was a two month. Or... No, that would have been the last. <laughs> it wasn't a first date. Yeah. We, we were pretty solid together at that point, but but still, it was it was it was the first it was the first emergency. Oh. <laughs> it was the first like sit her down and like we got to talk about something. <laughs> 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 All right, yeah. I got one. I unabashedly love the Marvel movies, but none of them have ever given me a boner like the scene in Goodfellas where Karen Hill sticks the gun in her panties. I love that tweet because I I just watched the Goodfellas again. I watched it till like four in the morning. It was on at like one, and I was like, well, I got to see this through, and I watched the whole thing. But I know exactly what scene you're talking about. Yeah, of course, when the FBI is raiding him. That's that's about Scorsese. Like coming up criticizing like the superhero movies or whatever, and like I love those superhero movies, but also Scorsese can say whatever the fuck he wants. Yeah, he's great. <laughs> Next one. Yeah, get you. Bro. What you got? If you grew up drinking Shirley Temples, it was because you had at least one parent who was drunk. <laughs> I, think that, is, I think that I think that tweet should have done a lot better than it did. Yeah. I think it's pretty funny. And I didn't also, even see that tweet, but I love that. It's pretty true because like who else orders those? Yeah, it's like oh, mommy needs a drink and buddy, and nobody's around. <laughs> Virgin. Yeah, it's like it's like, it's like, it's like a scotch and soda for mom and a Shirley Temple for a uh, little gentleman. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Like my, like, my sister replied to that. She said, so mom and dads were drunk. So I was like, you grew up in our house? Yeah, you know. <laughs> you don't remember? <laughs> <laughs> we, had a, we had a table, a spot on the counter for mixing drinks. <laughs> you know my mom and dad were great people, but they were at least drunks. <laughs> at least. <laughs> at least. <laughs> you turned out fine. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I got one. The first law of dirt badgics. A dirt bag must not judge another dirt bag, nor by inaction allow a dirt bag to be judged. <laughs> First of all, did I say that right? Dirt bagics? Dirt bagics. Dirt bagics. You know that's from that that format Just is from uh, <laughs> it's uh, you know Isaac Asimov's robots books. Yeah. Robots of Dawn, Caves of Steel, or. Uh, First law, of robotics. Yeah, first law of robotics. Oh, dirt bagics. I yeah, get that. Yeah. My my girlfriend and I were in uh, Las Vegas, and I had. Uh, I had a pretty righteous drunk the night before, <laughs> and, and uh, she she made a comment about like it's like oh no, about judging whatever, and I was like oh no 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 I, I am a dirt bag, and the first rule of dirt bags is do not judge another person's dirt baggery. <laughs> and through that it became it became. <laughs> it sounds like it could be out of like the Bible, but like yeah. the opposite. <laughs> the dirt bag Bible. Yeah. Right. I uh. I was in the newspaper when I was a little kid because my third grade teacher. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Long pause. <laughs> my, third grade teacher, my third grade teacher knew someone at the Times and she had a project of like for all of us to write what we would give Martin Luther King for his birthday. And uh, I, uh, I 
was confused at the time and I said that uh, I I was my Martin Luther King and I have the same birthday, which we do not. I am I am I am one day before him. <laughs> oh, so we almost have the same birthday. Yeah, yeah. When's the seventeenth? Yeah, I'm the fourteenth. So and my parents, it was in the newspaper. My parents were like, your birthday's not the same day as Martin Luther King. And I was like, well, yeah. How about you just let me enjoy being in the paper? <laughs> <laughs> then why did they have a parade for me? That's <laughs> <laughs> it's this in the obituary. <laughs> this is all I get. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I literally said that one day too. Like when I was young, I was like, there's a parade for my birthday. We're like, no, it's for Martin Luther King. And I was like, that's old news. <laughs> like, oh, I, I'm here now. <laughs> I shared a birthday with my older brother. I was very aware my birthday was not special. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even a twin. Yeah. So that's not even you a know twin. what? It's a, a funny thing though is that uh, you know, Owen Straw's birthday is also the 17th of January. Oh really? And uh, he's t- he's always said that uh, people have said that January 17th is officially the saddest day of the year. <laughs> because it's because <laughs> my mom would agree. It's because the, just... well, because the holidays are over. Your bills from Christmas are showing up. You've broken your New Year's resolutions, and it's all downhill from there. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. <laughs> well, I got, a, I got, a, I got a tweet. Hey, dipshit, buying bo- tiny bottles of liquor at Walgreens and asking for amaretto. You might need a backup plan. <laughs> that's <laughs> that was that's also, a very alcoholic tweet, but yeah. I, I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I, I was in the fall. I was in a Walgreens. I was like. Fucking guy asked for amaretto. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm gonna make something nice. Dude, you want, you want four tiny bottles of beef eater and get the fuck out. Of here. Yeah, right. Yeah, get, get the fireball and keep it pushing. <laughs> <laughs> and that, and that also reminded me of a thing too. Is I had a friend and we had gone. We were on a work assignment working in uh, in, in kind of rural Kentucky, and he had a stomach ache and he, we were going to the store like, you need anything? He's like sorbet. And sorbet. <laughs> and we were like, oh, all right, what flavor? He goes, mango. And I was like, hey, you got a back up there, buddy? <laughs> I don't know if you noticed this, but we're in rural Kentucky. <laughs> You'll be lucky if you get lemon. Yeah. <laughs> right. Any. He's like, yeah, we brought, we, brought, we brought you one of them. They had this weird thing uh, around Christmas time there in Kindler, rural Kentucky, called boiled custard. It's a drink. It was served it was next to the egg. Oh, I don't know the fuck. I, I never tried it, but... Gross. All right. Near, you near, 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 near. I'm just like... <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Hello, sir. You don't need to... <laughs> the print on the back of your shirt to tell us you don't <laughs> give a fuck. The Wu-Tang logo tatted under your right eye is, the mes- <laughs> is all the message we need. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Did you see this in, yeah. in the wild? Yeah. <laughs> Who had the Wu Tang tatted on her face? Las, Las Vegas. Um, <laughs> Las Vegas. You see a lot of that kind of thing. Yeah, and and that that was that was nowhere near the only tattoo on his face. Okay, good, good. I'll, that's what <laughs> was, was my just, next it was, question. It was just the most visible. <laughs> Well, you gotta have more than one face tat if you got the Wu Tang. Man, yeah. Nevada in general, everyone I meet in Nevada, and I perform there probably a couple times a year. Every single person I meet, if they're from Nevada, it feels like they all have the same energy, which is kind of just like, like friendly on the front, but also I know how to kill you if I have to. Yeah. Like there's always yeah. like that. Like I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, you're ready for whatever. I'm ready to go. They're down, like <laughs> especially outside. Yeah, of Vegas, there's like, a. One time I was I was smoking weed in my car in I don't even know where I was, but I like pulled off, parked, was smoking outside the hotel, and this dude walks in front of my car <laughs> and he stopped and he turned and pointed his fingers at me like a gun and said, Pow And like I just froze and then he took one more step and then turned around and was like, Hey yo, you got any cigarettes? <laughs> it was like no I got like mad at him, like, no, I don't have any fucking cigarettes. He's like, you're gonna be a fucking dick. I'm like, you just almost pretend to shoot me. You <laughs> just shot me with finger guns. Let me tell yeah, you. man, come on. Yeah. Kill yeah, vibes. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, people in Nevada have like, yeah, like, like you said, like, like a down low, like, yeah. a secret nefariousness <laughs> about it. To say the least. <laughs> yeah. All right. I saw a guy riding a bike one-handed while hauling a pile of old carpet on his opposite shoulder and realized that dude is more prepared for the future than I'll ever be. (laughs) I've been thinking about that a lot, man. I've been thinking about the future and how I'm prepared, and I don't want to be prepared. 
That's the other thing. I'm trying yeah. to die young. Yeah, I know. I, I, I foresee a future where a lot of us are going to have to carry water a long distance many days out of the week. Oh, for sure. Oh, man. Or or be able to figure out how to pull metal out of fucking old computer mother, motherboards. Uh, what, what, All that. Yeah, <laughs> the scenario I keep imagining is you're waking up to like, oh, it finally is the end of the world. And then I look outside and it's a terrible. So I just smoke my weed and drink all my alcohol and I guess just like just masturbate till I die. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. forge for I've more alcohol. S- I've seen the movie where you leave and as soon as you leave, oh, yeah, like a bad. guy attacks you and you gotta fight him to the death. Right. And even if you kill him, his idiot kid pops out and he's like, Papa? And like, now you gotta kill that kid. Because right. you know that's the end of the movies. The kid comes back right. and kills you. Yeah, so now you're gonna stomp this cat right. in the butt. You're gonna join their gang or like. Oh, kill I just, just watched Mad Max Fury Road again. Oh, oh so yeah, you're cool. Right. Yeah, you're yeah, ready like, to go. Take me in the blast. Right. Yeah. I guess I'm gonna take this on another turn. 911, <laughs> what's your emergency? I ordered a bacon, egg, and cheese on a sesame seed bagel. The people at this coffee shop gave it to me on a cheddar cheese bagel, and I'd like to press charge. <laughs> it's criminal. <laughs> this is so Seattle. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe I believe that there I believe that there's a bagel hierarchy. That that's also real. That's a thing that happened to me. I wasn't that upset, clearly, but uh, <laughs> but I have a definite bagel hierarchy, and cheddar cheese bagels are very low on that list yeah i mean you got your you know you got your a ones you know and you got it plain laid out for us plain poppy pumpernickel kosher salt this the, the, the everything sesame egg the, those are the, the nice ones then then you get to like cheddar cheese or one of god forbid they have jalapenos on it have you had a tomazo bagel uh, no Ooh, tomazo's <laughs> trash you would hate it but i love it <laughs> uh, the, uh, oh, Travis. <laughs> i mean don't don't get me wrong like i'm i'm a, I'm a jalapeno I'm a, I'm a hot chili pepper fan through and through but uh, cheddar cheddar jalapeno bagel not so much yeah uh and then and then and then you got the sweet ones which ugh, a sweet bagel yeah, isn't it enough? Isn't it enough already? Yeah, bagel. yeah. So, no, that, that. But yeah, that's like, and, and what you're expecting to set that sesame seed bagel, and you get like that that baked on cheese crap that's in there. You're just like, ah, oh, this is so disappointing. I'm not done complaining about bagels. I <laughs> like when you leave like a, a big city where there actually are like bagels. I went. I got a bagel in Spokane. And I've never been more like I almost walked back in because <laughs> what the fuck is this? It's New York, like a frisbee. <laughs> New York, you can get a bagel with like it's like stacked with locks and all this shit and onions and pickled and you can uh, and it's like a full meal. And then I was in Spokane and I asked for I just stopped at a bagel place and it looked like a legit place and I asked for a bagel with locks and cream cheese and it was like I watched her pull out like the thinnest slice of locks I've ever seen uh, yeah. and put like two tiny slices on there and then it was like fourteen dollars which is more than at an airport yeah i could have got a cheaper bagel at an airport <laughs> not, not only that Spokane but you, you, pay, you pay like fifteen dollars in new york city and you get half a fish yeah or a box. that's one good one to close on opinions are like assholes mine's angry <laughs> <laughs> The joke's been done a hundred ways. I like that. <laughs> yes, I, I, yeah, I love it. It's like, love it. But like, um, my friends and I, like, like, angry butts a thing. Like, like if you have like the, the squirts or you're eating hot food, yeah. <laughs> spicy food, or you get some yeah, Nashville hot chicken, now your life's ruined for a day. Oh yeah. man, have you had sisters and brothers in Georgetown? No, but now oh, I have to. Oh man, I had, I, yeah, I had the, I had the hottest one that they, not the hottest ones they have, like. Maybe the third hottest one, because so their whole deal is is that you have uh, anything over seven. Oh no, anything. Wait, no, wait a minute. Anything over mild is automatically like a seven. Ooh. That's the first thing, and you can go higher. Right, I think I went. I went eight. I probably could have went nine, but I, I paid for it. The first time Twice. I uh, <laughs> the first time I had Nashville hot chicken, me and my buddy had been. I had like a week off on the road, so I crashed with him in Nashville. And we had just been, we'd been drunk for like five, six days straight. Oh. 
and just going hard. He was like a rugby player and I, <laughs> you know, a comedian. So we were just going, we were like, just, let's see how far we can take this. And we hadn't eaten for like an entire day because we woke up at like two or three in the afternoon. We went out to get food. And for some reason, we decided to get Nashville hot chicken, chicken. on an empty stomach princes? that it only had alcohol through there. And it ruined two days. Two yeah, days. Must, I was been shit hot lava, man. Man, it was brutal. Well, I'm glad we got to talk about poop. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say soup. <laughs> yeah, I just followed the progression. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> yeah. food's, food's a little just, further down the line. Like, food's, food's just future poop. Yeah, it's, it's a classy serious. show here where we... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys for uh, watching this episode. And thanks, Jason, for hanging out. Absolutely. With thanks for having me. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Check us out. You can check uh, Jason out on his Twitter. At JJ right, Goad. It'll be right yeah. here. And then you check us out, out yeah. as well. Tell your friends about us. Yeah. Share the do. video. Yeah, get it out there. Subscribe you might as well. to it. Why wouldn't you? Why do you hate like us? Me. Follow me. These tweets deserve better. They do. Yeah. They really do.